Moya Moya is a very interesting condition where there is a progressive narrowing of the main vessels that feed the brain. It's classically in the internal carotid arteries and their branches, but it can also affect the vertebrobasilar system, which is the arterial system in the back of the brain. And the caliber of those vessels progressively narrows to the point where there's not enough blood flow to support normal brain function. And as the patient enters the edge of that uh, inadequacy of blood flow, they begin to have intermittent symptoms first. And then as the narrowing continues, the symptoms may become continuous and can lead to a, a real stroke, just like a patient who has a clot blocking off the artery entirely. What the brain will sometimes do to compensate is that it will recruit vessels that normally don't supply brain tissue, and they will begin to permeate toward the brain tissue and provide alternative pathways for the blood to flow to the brain. This can occur either through the skull, so that sometimes uh, blood vessels that don't ordinarily supply the brain but supply the lining of the brain start to permeate downward from the outside, or it can occur via art, uh, an artery, for example, that goes to the eye, the ophthalmic artery, which may start to give off little branches that permeate upward through the base of the skull into the brain. And that process is a progressive recruitment of these alternative pathways. This can be uh, this can be life-saving for the patient. It can actually give them much more time before they even know there's a problem because they have these alternative pathways. And uh, it was the uh, inspiration for many of the procedures that the neurosurgeons do to artificially create these kind of alternative pathways. So when we do the angiogram, we look for these two types of processes. One is the narrowing of the main caliber of the main blood vessels going to the brain, and the other is the progressive recruitment of these alternative blood sources, and both of those pieces of information are crucial. The last thing is that with Moya Moya, with the narrowing of the main blood vessels, there is a sprouting of what are normally very tiny perforating blood vessels that go into the deep gray structure of the brain. It's that sprouting appearance on angiography. Those vessels are almost too small to individually see on the angiogram, so that the visual effect when you look at them is that there's more of a haze surrounding where the main blood vessel used to be, and it's that haze pattern that gave the disease its name in the Japanese literature, uh, Moya Moya. That actual haze pattern is usually not critical uh, in terms of making a diagnosis, and we care more about the actual narrowing of the main caliber of the blood vessels and the recruitment of the alternative blood flow, but we look for all of those things.